Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about natural selection. In 1831, Charles Darwin, a naturalist, sailed to the Galapagos Islands. His voyage, which was originally supposed to last two years, lasted five. While at the islands, he witnessed the variety of life. He saw iguanas that swam and thrived in the ocean. Each island had a slightly different looking iguana. As he traveled to the different islands, he saw finches with different looking beaks. This voyage inspired him to write a book titled The Origin of Species. In the book, he proposed his theory of evolution and attempted to explain the variety of life on Earth. One mechanism he proposed to support his theory that life descended from a common ancestor was natural selection. Natural selection has several components. First is overproduction. Many organisms produce more offspring than can survive. For example, fish lay millions of eggs. A female sea turtle may lay 70 to 100 eggs, but only have a couple survive. A praying mantis lays 300 eggs and only one-fifth develop to adults. Next is variation. The offspring will have genetic variation. Take a look at these ducks. You can see the variation. They receive genetic information from mom and dad, which result in variations. Sometimes this variation may give an organism an advantage and allow them to have more offspring than organisms that do not possess this advantage. Up next is selection or death. Some organisms due to variation will be more fit to survive and reproduce than their environment and are more likely to pass their traits to their next generation. And finally, due to heredity, these traits can be passed from one generation to the next, which can result in changes over time. A classic case of natural selection is the peppered moth. In the 19th century, a pale or white peppered moth was much more common than a black peppered moth. However, people started to notice that it was actually the black form of the moth that was more common than the pale peppered form. Industrialism and coal fires had caused the air to become polluted and this killed off lichens and blackened urban tree trunks. So now it was the pale or white form of the moth that was more obvious to the predators, while the black form was better camouflaged and more likely to survive and produce offspring. As a result, over successive generations the black moths became to outnumber the pale or white moths. So there we go, natural selection, one way Darwin helped explain his theory of evolution. Thanks for watching, and Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.